So it doesn't hurt to show this part again. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 26 video as music. We re-entered with the reflection that video composition can be approached using metaphors from our music composition methods. A simple example in music, as you've seen, we calculate how many seconds each of our segments is when we slap them into an animation. In video, we also count how many seconds. Here's our video editor, 22.24 seconds. But we also show aspect ratio, 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels. Uh, in music, we respect copyright. And in video, we respect logos, for example. In music, we balance composing from theory and then from listening both. And in a video, we balance from being precise and locating everything and sometimes just by what looks and uh, looks good, you know, I, the Mark II eyeball. And then once you start composing, the composition, oh my God, will tell you where it wants to go next. So, um, so we, we, we said we're going to feature, now that we shot the video of the live tour, uh, we, were, uh, we shot the, the practice video live and we edited it live. Then we had the uh, live in the stream. And then the actual tour was 18 people. We shot offline, but now we started editing it live in the stream. I'm sure you followed all that. So we began editing the video. Uh, we followed all of our techniques from music, made a main project folder, many, many, many asset subfolders, um, images, etc., etc. This is what a typical, what we mean by asset folders, images, uh, music files. Uh, the, the recording itself, whiteboard notes, and, and then the editor work. Uh, and we identified what to cut and to keep, made the first test render, QA'd. So we're going to show you a little of that in a minute. We also started editing sound files again. We did some recording on our, ba our favorite bayou. We were up very early today, so there was no traffic, and we got the frogs and the water and the wind. And then we used Reaper to practice learning how to filter out the wind using our newest effects. And then we finally returned to part two of lines of demarcation and began adding a bass line and a kick and ride, quick kick and ride lines. So let's just show you a little bit of how this video opens. Um, title. Well, title as soon as we get to the home position here. I think you recognize there's the music line and what you just heard came from here. So we, we figured that out in our practice video. Then uh, it launches in, it launches in right after the, we better make it maximized so you can see this easier. Then we're going to go right out of there. I want to introduce two people now that so many of you are here. The guy in the, in the hat with a very elegant vest. I'm going to stand by him here. This is Snow. And then we're off and running with the actual people there. And you see we have quite a few. Now, um, we also were able to sneak in on what we call our trailhead music, which is this music uh, here. And you're saying, why is it called trailhead music? Well, here we go. I want to show them this blue globe site. Okay. But don't bump it. Yeah, don't walk through the blue globe. Okay, I'm coming behind you now. I don't see anybody else here. So, uh, Dixie, if you need us to TP you, let me know, and we'll, we're at the Beaver Pond Trail now. Whoa. Okay, yeah, tell me. So that was the trailhead music. Then, then we had what we called the, um, what is this? the Blackfeet Nation music. And we did a really fun thing here. You can see where the sound envelope of the live recording drops to zero, and then it comes back up to here. That's because in the actual tour, we hummed the music song or sang it, but for the purpose of this video, we swapped in the actual composed music. I looked that up. 
So yeah, so that was kind of fun because I tell you, not too long ago we had no idea how to show an audio envelope and add points and drop it. And you know, the closest we would get to that is we would cut, we would cut the film, and um, it just it, this was so much simpler this way. And then finally, finally, uh, the nice end music where everybody thanks. And here we go. Here we go. Q and A and free swim and. Snow is here to answer questions. Thank you. And again, that's straight out of our compositional piece here. And um, what's so interesting, we were thinking about this again. We, as we mentioned uh, the first time, we, uh, we looked this up on the web and found Blackfeet music, authentic performances. And what you're seeing is a minor third, which also is what we call the Star Wars. Da, 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 da. Or my daughter calls, my bonnie lies over the ocean. Now, I'm not saying that the Blackfeet tribe follows Western traditional music, but I am. We've had this discussion before in looking at in, listening to Hindustani and Carnatic music that they also play a lot on the perfect fifth, as it's called, or what we call a seven. And uh, worldwide, because people have the same ears all over the world, they tend to hear certain intervals similarly. Our ears and brains process them. So we did all that. So we got the video rendered. Yay. And then, um, and then, then we finally got back to lines of demarcation. And this one, to be honest, we just barely touched again. We're going to play it for you to take us home here. But what we've started to do is add a, uh, basically there's going to be a bass and a, and a kick and a ride. And it, we just basically given it a, a lick and a promise. So we're, using separate lines for the ride symbol and separate lines for the kick and a separate line for the bass. And we were going to make this be a, a bass clef, but frankly, we're, we, we don't read bass clef very well. So we're going to figure it out on the piano and then we'll convert it to a real instrument. So here we go. Now that's as far as we got with the bass. The rest of this you've already heard, but we'll still play it because it's fun. So that ends today's stream. Our ideas for next time are we will upload the tour video for sharing, continue working with part two. We've got all these new ideas over here. Like we said, a lick and a promise. And uh, to be determined, shout outs to Iwas who came back and DS Composing who came back. It's good to see you guys again. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.